Okay, so let's take a look at question number seven, which is another optimization question. But in this case, we, we're not given our cost equations and we're not given a table of values because it's actually kind of embedded into the question and we're going to have to figure all that out. So this is a, like a uh, sort of the question that, that you would get after you understand how to do question five and question six. So let's uh, see what we have here. So we have a class that wants to hire buses and vans for a trip. And we know the bus can hold 40 students and three teachers, and it costs $1,200 to rent per bus. And we know vans can hold eight students and one teacher, and they cost $100 to rent per van. But the school has the following conditions here. We have at least 400 students wanting to go. Okay, so that means 400 or more students will be going on this trip. But we are only going to have at most 36 teachers going on this trip. So that means it could be less than 36 teachers. And we wanna minimize our transportation cost, okay, but still meet all the conditions here um, of, what, uh, of what we have, where we have to send at least 400 students and we also have to make accommodations for up to 36 teachers. Okay, so we're gonna start here by Let's, let's make some variables that can count the number of vans and buses. Okay, so we're going to say the number of vans, okay, is equal to the letter X. And the number of buses is equal to the letter Y. So this is the physical number of buses and vans. So what does it cost in order to pay for this transportation? Well, we know each bus hold is cost $1,200. So we would take 1,200 and times it by the number of, um, not X, sorry, the number of uh, buses, which is Y. And then we know vans cost $100 each and we have to multiply that by the number of vans and that's going to be equal to our cost equation. Okay, so this is what we're going to be looking to minimize. So that's one of our first equations that we generate. Then we have to look at what our constraints are. So the constraints are the um, how much the, num uh, the number of students and the number of teachers that want to go, and we have to figure this out. So let's look at the number of teachers here. So it says here, each bus holds um, at least three teachers, and each van holds one teacher, but we're only going to send at most 36 teachers. Okay, so a bus is three teachers. So the number of teachers is three times Y. And the van holds only one teacher. So that's just one times X. Okay, and we are going to send at most 36 teachers. That means we're not, we can't send more. So that is less than or equal to 36. Okay, and then the student constraint here is 40 students per bus. So that's 40 times y okay for the bus and then eight students per van that's eight times the number of vans and we're sending at least 400 students that means could have more so 400 is our minimum so that's greater than or equal to 400 okay so we want to we need to graph our constraints and then figure out where the overlap is for these inequalities okay and then um, take that overlap area, find its boundary points, and then plug them into our cost equation, and then see what's the minimum amount. Okay, so like I did with the last question, I'm going to jump into desmos.com. Okay, and what we're plotting here is we're plotting X, which is vans, versus Y, which is buses. Okay, so um, 3X plus... 3, sorry, 3y plus x is less than 36, and 8x plus 40y is greater than 400. Okay, so we'll have to just remember that here. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to Desmos here again. Okay, we're going to erase our previous equations. Okay, so we are going to plot x plus... 3y and that is going to be less than or equal to 36 so that's what that shape looks like 
And then we're going to plot our other one, which is going to be 8x plus 40y. And that has to be greater than or equal to 400. Okay, and then we're going to see what we get. So this is our two equations. And I'm going to shrink the screen a little bit so we can figure out where they overlap. And what I have here is two, let me just see, did I get that right here? X, one X plus three Y is less than or equal to 36. Oops, missed 400. There we go, that makes it a little bit better. Okay, so now we have our equations that are overlapping. So we essentially have one equation where we're, gra we're shading to the up, so up uh, the above the line, and then we have another equation where we're shading below the line. And what we get is we have this little triangular area that you see that is the common overlap for everything, okay? And again, we're not using negative values. We can only, we're only looking at positive values because we're trying to figure out how many buses and vans we need to have. So we're, we're, it doesn't make sense to have negative amounts. So let's just figure out what those points are here. So if I touch on this one, one of my points is 0, 012. One of my other points is 0, 010. And where the two lines intersect is 15 comma 7. Okay, so those are our three values we're going to have to put into our data table. So just go back here. Okay, and then like before, we're going to kind of plot our vertex points, which is just our corners. Okay, so one of them was 0, 012, 0, 010, and then 15, 7. Okay, and you get that from the Desmos tool. And then we have our cost equation. Okay, which is going to be 1200y plus um, 100x. <clears throat> so our first equation here is going to be um, 100. Uh, well, I'll put them in order here, I guess. It is 1200 times the y value, which is 12, plus 100 times 0. That's going to be equal to 14,000. 400. Okay, 12 times 12 is 144, add two zeros. The next one here is going to be 1200 times 10 plus 100 times 0. Okay, and that is going to give you 12,000. Okay, and then our last one here is going to be 1200 times 7, that's what our y value is, plus 100 times 15, and that is going to give you 9,900. So our Optimum combination of buses and vans should be this one. Okay, we should be sending out what is our x value here? So 15 vans, okay, and seven buses, and that is going to totally cost nine thousand nine hundred dollars, which is our minimum value for this equation. Okay, so that's how you do this problem where you have to build your own cost equation and then you have to build your own constraints. Okay, and it's a little tricky because one of the constraints is less than or equal to, the other constraint is greater than or equal to. Okay, and then you need to plot them. Okay, and again, these numbers are a little bit big, so they'd be a little bit harder to plot. So it's to your advantage to use the Desmos tool to do the plotting. Look for the overlap, which will then let you identify the vertex points and then you make a little table of those points and plug them into the cost equation and that tells you um, what you're looking for. And in this case, we're looking for the minimum. Okay, if we wanted to spend the most amount of money, we would basically have zero um, vans and we would buy 12 buses and that would cost us four, over $14,000, which um, is um, much more than the 9,000. Okay, so that's what the math here is telling us in for this question. Okay, so that's how you would do this problem.